So welcome back to motorhoming in the slow lane. We are in Lee's probably favorite place. This, this is my favorite weekend of all the year. So we are currently at the uh, Fair, Fairford Air Show Camping Ground, just on the outskirts of the Fairford Airfield, where we've got the Royal International Air Tattoo. So it's only Wednesday, but we're here for the arrivals. I'm a bit distracted because there's a plane in the background. So we're getting our Av Geek on this uh, weekend, or this long weekend, um, and watching the planes arrive uh, first, then we'll be at the air show for a couple of days, and then we'll be watching them depart. But we're uh, at this little pop-up camping place, uh, like I said, just on the outskirts of the airfield, um, and it's pretty amazing, actually. I'll show you around. So we are currently in uh, the White Field, which is the field furthest away from the entrance. Um, I think we've got about a 20-minute uh, walk every day to get to where we need. But as you can see at the moment, it's pretty empty. Uh, this is Sophia. We're about to set her up ready for the weekend. Um, but as you can see, I feel like we've picked probably one of the best locations because look what we've got coming in right now. Oh, that's amazing. We are literally right under the fly path, but just far enough away that we can get a good view. Um, so Sophia is in the prime spot for the weekend, I think. So that's, that's all pitched up. Uh, we're quite lucky actually, because we've got a nice lot of shade. Um, we are in the white um, field. As you can see at the moment, it is dead, but it is only Wednesday. Uh, quite a lot of people come here just for the air show um, on Fridays and Saturdays. So this is basically the field to ourselves at the moment, which is lovely. Um, Lee's all the way down there, I don't know if you can see him, he's trying to find where the taps are because we're not sure where the water is. So we are all set up, it took a lot longer than it normally would take us to set up, but there were so many arrivals of planes, um, Lee and I got distracted. So we're gonna take a walk now um, down to Fairford Air Base. Uh, we're friends of um, the Air Tattoo, so we're, part of a group called Free App, which means we get um, tickets to the air show from Wednesday right up until Monday. Uh, so Wednesday and Thursday is just arrivals, Friday and Saturday is the normal show, and then on Monday it's also just uh, departures. So we are going to take a wander through the campsite, um, up to the, the runway and have a look what's going on. So here we are on day one of the Royal International Air Tattoo. Uh, we're in Welford, which is just on the outskirts of the airfield at Fairford. Uh, we're making our way in from the campsite. Uh, we're staying at the Fairford Air Show camping ground, which had their own pedestrian walkway from the campsite uh, into the showground. So uh, we're just at the end of that. We've walked about 10 minutes. Well, what a day. It's been absolutely amazing to be back in Sofia. Lee is out in the middle of the campsite getting one last video of the last plane arriving for today. I'm cooking us some dinner. Uh, we took a walk up to the airfield today, but it was so, so hot. We came back to the van and luckily enough, we got to watch all of the arrivals from the van whilst having a nice bottle of wine and Lee had some beer. So it's been an absolute epic first day today. Morning everybody and welcome to day two of the Royal International Air Tattoo. We were uh, up late so Sarah's absolutely freaking out um, and we were woken up to the sounds of toilets being delivered just a few metres from our van which has uh, got Sarah all cross this morning because she had uh, a view just down the field. So uh, there we go. We're on our way into the showground now so it's day two of arrivals and uh, we've already seen a few come over the van so uh, we're in a rush to get there. This is Sarah in her natural environment. Sarah? I am completing our application for next year's free app tickets. So we are enjoying a nice cool cider and um, some lunch whilst um, we have a break from the grandstand because it's very very hot. Um, yeah we're having a good day aren't we? Very good. Yeah. Right so that is day two of Riyadh arrivals done so we're now back at the van uh, where it's very warm. We've had a fantastic day watching uh, various arrivals come in and various rehearsals. Sarah's going to throw us a few snaps of those in now. 
So all that's left for us to do now is to have a beer, have some dinner, which Sarah's going to cook very shortly, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Tomorrow Riyadh starts properly. Tomorrow is a proper air show day, so uh, things will be a bit more different. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Looking forward to it. So quick view of Sophia. Quite a lot of people we haven't seen her for quite a while. I thought I would just remind you what she looks like inside. Obviously normally our little darling dogs are there. But as we're at the air show, they are not here. They are at home. Not on their own, don't panic. So yeah, just in case you forgot, this is what she looks like. Nice romantic dinner for two. Master Chef's been at it again. Proper van dinner. So I'm not sure if you'll see from here, but Lee is all the way over the other side of the field, bless him, getting some water. That's the closest tap. He's on his way back, but I'm, I'm not sure you can still see him, bless his little heart. That's a long way to pick up water. What we're doing is we're doing it one every day so he doesn't have to lug more than one. He's my hero. Just think of this as part of your marathon training. No? <sighs> Did a marathon, not an iron man. <sighs> Was that hard? No, it's fine. It's not that far. <laughs> what are you up to, love? I'm getting the bed ready. See? Multitasking and I can do a pink job if I really want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised you know how to make the bed if I'm honest. Ooh, who taught you? My mum. <laughs> Is this the first time we've made the bed since we've had Sophia? I'm just a little bit conscious that you're filming me making the bed so I'm like a pig's ear of it. You can just mock me on camera. Do you not know how to make the full bed up? Okay. I've made the bed. So what about this part? No, we only make that part when we go to sleep. So the first part is so we can sit back and watch a bit of TV. That bit when we go to bed. Otherwise it blocks this off. I'm telling porkies now. <laughs> Night everybody, we'll see you in the morning.